So this week, we start looking at some of the learning theories that support education through computer games. And I've provided you with a range of introductory level um, understanding of some elements of learning theory as they can relate to educational games. So the first is around experiential learning, where learners participate in a, an active experience through gameplay that supports their learning. The next aspect of learning theory is a concept called flow, where students become immersed and engaged in the learning activity to such an extent that it supports their learning, where they're in a state of engagement that takes away distractions from the everyday world, that they are fully immersed in the game and they're in a process known as flow. And we'll discuss that. Then there's the learning theory of zone of proximal development. And fundamentally, this places challenges around what students are going to learn that are just beyond their current abilities. Not too far that the challenge is too difficult, that not too not within their current abilities, so that they are still challenged and that learning takes place within that zone where it's beyond their current capabilities, but not so far that it becomes too difficult for them to engage with. And that's known as the zone of proximal development. And then we have a range of motivational theories based upon behaviorist um, pedagogies, which are traditionally associated with the use of computer games in education. Now there's a reading that you can explore these in more detail and we're going to unpack them as we look at these various aspects in relation to game design. So as you start preparing to design your own game, you're going to consider incorporating some of these elements that support the learning processes that you want to see achieved through your game. Now, following on from that, there are a range of key authors that have been publishing in the educational gaming space for a number of years. So I'd like you to just have a quick look through some of these um, authors, and if any of them take your particular interest, delve in them, into them in more detail so that you can build a foundational understanding of some of the key concepts around educational game design. So there's G and Cap and McGonagall, um, Prensky and Squire. They all have various perspectives on the use of educational games. And they take different conceptual foundations that educational de game design has built upon. And so I summarize those foundations for you around active and constructivist learning engagement and motivation, situated cognition and contextualized learning, flow and adaptive challenge, and then the aspect of social learning, where the integration of learning activities with others plays a significant component, and reflective and experiential learning. So these are drawn in various elements from those authors but if you wish to explore them in greater depth, find the author that has been writing about that particular concept and delve into their work and gain a stronger understanding so that you can contribute that through your own game development.